this means anything, but the SEC blames hack for incorrect posts on Bitcoin ETF approval. So these people who are responsible for protecting investors' money um, can't even protect their own Twitter account. Is that correct? <laughs> um, that's retarded. They're retarded. Why is this guy the head of the SEC again? Uh, anyway, on to the video. Uh, enjoy, and the craziness, I guess, begins. The stupidity of the markets and the, the hype that everything is going to go around this. Uh, nothing has changed for me. I am hedging my longs. And uh, the reason being is because we've come right close to the 61.8 and also the confluence of this pattern right here. This is what I'm really focused on, what you see right there. Um, this goes all the way up to here. Um, so I'm expecting probably a spike tomorrow up. We get approval and we spike up and then drop back down and get back to these 38, the upper 38K level and, and under. Uh, that's basically what I'm looking for. And we'll see if that happens. Um, and I'm mostly just looking to uh, hedge short because of all the buys that I had on this drop, if you remember, um, from where I exited my shorts, and I was short like 60% at one point. And um, yeah, so I exited here and then I started buying heavily and I doubled up and then doubled up again. So I, my percentages went way high. Um, so when you own like five to six times of what your original investment is, uh, you're kind of putting it out there and I kind of did that and that's fine because uh, Look where we are. We're all the way back up to this level up where I was originally shorting this whole zone and We've got a confluence um, That goes from the 172.8 to the 200 percent which is around 50,000 and all the way from the 48 the uh, 48, I guess that's around the mid 750s, somewhere in that range, around 48, 800, let's say. Um, and we're really close to this. Now, what I did is I added the 5% short, so 35% is what I'm hedged short against my position. And what I'm really doing is just locking in the profits that I had from down here. Um, you know, I'm just playing it safe. Uh, I would like Bitcoin to keep going higher and us to go to a million dollars or 138,000. And later in the week, I'm going to make the longer term video so you can have the longer term projections. But right now, this is what I'm focused on. And uh, I believe we're going to get a, a drop down to here. You know, I just think we're going to let's do a trend line. We're going to get a fast drop down here to these levels down here and maybe a spike back up and then back down. And ultimately, I think we can go all the way down here. I think uh, everything is blown, blown out of proportion. People are very positive, but it's kind of a mixed bag. I can't tell. And I'm looking at the volume and I see one thing on one side and something on another and it doesn't make any sense it's kind of confusing so i'm in between so uh, with that confusion i'm just going to look to play the range uh, and i'm going off the chart i don't know if it's going to get approved and i don't know if it's not going to get approved uh, i mean i can make arguments both ways but then i go to the chart what what's my downside targets and uh, they exist all the way from here, all the way down to here, all the way down to here. So that's what I have to focus on. Um, people told me about GOV uh, or um, Canoe yesterday because it had a spike up. And obviously, uh, that didn't last, did it? Let's look at that. 
see the volume right here spikes all the way up and then spikes all the way down now this is misleading um, this could be real buying right here there's no real volume so it's very easy to manipulate so they spike it up and then uh, spike it back down and that's really buying even if you think that it's not that spike up means something that's where the um, the fire was and that's a big indicator um, so again very positive I don't mind holding this one I only hold a few percentages of it so it's like no big deal but I'm not gonna do anything with this and I'm not gonna even talk about it until we're up to here which is look at that right in the 140 so on a percentage basis you calculate it any way you want there's nothing to do with canoe but wait for 140 for you and that's all there is to it uh, so that's what I'm doing um, now there was one ETC I had another person I have several people ask me about this and nothing has changed about uh, Ethereum Classic. I don't know what you want me to say. Uh, it was a great buy down here in the mid uh, 15. This is the range. This is all the way down to uh, around 12 and a half, uh, all the way back up to 17, almost 18 dollars. Uh, this whole range was what you were looking for to buy it in and your target is nothing less than the uh, 43 50s so I'll revisit this one but it's not gonna change uh, this is what you're looking at as your minimum target minimum okay your higher end targets would be all the way in the six the mid 60s but your minimum target would be in the low 40s in the 43 uh, mid 43 range so, you know, uh, the nice thing is it broke its downtrend line, and it did that quite a while ago. And it did that back in October. So it's been meandering and building positive numbers. And I don't want to talk about it, kind of like Canoe. I'm not interested until you show me the, the, uh, the move to the, the upper end of the, the numbers, and this is what I would look for. Um, uh, what other things are out there? Silver, I'm not going to really talk about. That's positive. I know all of this looks negative right now and blah, blah, blah. Not interested. Show me numbers that go all the way up to 56. Uh, short term. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, not 56. What do I think I have? Uh, 52. The, the mid-52 range, so... Um, you know, and then 36, but I, I, I don't even want to even talk about it until it gets up to these numbers because this is ready to go. Uh, nothing to think about technically. It's, it checked all the boxes. I just got to wait. Um, uh, what other ones were of interest to people? Uh, Ethereum, nothing to do here. Uh, I'm not going to even add to my shorts like I did with Bitcoin because it's not a number. The only numbers above are 2,700. And if I'm not close to there, I don't care. Uh, so I won't sell anymore until it gets to this area up here. Uh, it's lagging. And uh, so is XRP. XRP is just like blah. That's this down spike that sucked all the air out. Um, I have nothing to do. So I'll just leave these ones to ride. Uh, this was the range I was looking from here and then up to here. At some point, it's going to get to the back to the mid 80 cent range. It's got to go over and fulfill this pattern after it hit here. And that's what I would be looking for. I've had plenty of trades on it. I don't have to tell you. This is kind of really an old hat and I just traded it over and over again. Um, the biggest trade was uh, when it went in the 30 cent range and then went all the way back up to the up to here into the 80s and 90s and that was a great trade um, 
Yep, not interesting. Uh, so we're waiting. Bitcoin is the one approval of the Bitcoin ETF. Uh, I don't care if it gets approved or doesn't. Uh, ultimately, I'm looking for numbers that go all the way back down to the under 40k into the 30, the upper 30k range, back to here. Um, this is where it's got to go. And if it doesn't go there and it explodes and breaks past here, um, great. Uh, unfortunately, I won't make as much money, but I've locked in profits. And I locked in profits from here to here uh, of where I over uh, invested in Bitcoin. So if that's the case, so be it. Uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. It, I'll have the uh, end of the week, I'll do the longer term projections of what I'm looking for for Bitcoin because I was asked about that and uh, I think it would be a good thing to put in there and until then I will see you when I see you. <laughs>